say, sir, you you seem to be being upon my land. Huh? What's all this? Uh, a good sir, you seem to be peeing upon my leg. Huh? Well, it seems to me that your leg's in the way of my pee stream. Yes, yes, well, I'm sure you would find if you would just kindly angle your pee stream a fraction to the left, that it would find its way to the ground quite uninterrupted. Yes, and I'm quite sure that if you'd but move your leg a fraction to the left, you would find it would cease to be peed upon. Yes, 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 but my leg was here first. Yes, and still I pee. Mm. It appears we're at an impasse. Yes, I see, but you will eventually run out of pee, of which to expel upon my leg, thus leaving me the victor in this little battle. Ha! Ah. Mmm, touché, touché. Mm. And yet you merely delay the inevitable, because eventually that water bottle will be rendered dry, and your bladder will follow in turn. Mm. Gotta say, boy. Yes, Captain. Yes. Be good, chap. Run down to Booby's Water Pub. Return here with a half liter. You're a good lad and steady. There'll be more employment where that came from. Ha! Uh, I say, boy, I'll give you a whole two pence not to run to Booby's Water Pub and instead to go home and mind your studies. Oh, boy, my studies! You get thee to Booby's Water Pub or I'll box your ears! Right. Right. And still I pee. Yes, yes, you still pee and I still stand. And I can stand here all night, for I am unemployed. Ah, as it is with me. Aha! Uh -huh. Then you shan't long afford this errand boy to supply you with your future peace dream. I shall offer him sexual favors. Sexual favors? But he's just a boy. But we are British. Touché. And yet, you overlook something. How do you plan to perform these sexual favors you intend to promise this boy if your genitalia is indefinitely committed to the act of peeing upon my person? I happen to know that the child enjoys golden showers. Aha! Uh -huh. Then his face will have to interrupt your pee string, thus freeing my leg of its flow. Ah, the boy shall take up the act of peeing upon your leg, and I, in turn, will pee upon his face. You clever devil. The game is on. It's a gentleman's challenge. May the best man win. We all know the story by now. William Shakespeare and Sir Francis Bacon continued on that way, and the final plays they were working on were never finished. They battled on into the night. Spring turned to summer, summer to fall, fall to winter. Centuries passed, then millennia. Empires rose and fell. Suns exploded. JFK was assassinated and then reborn in Argentina. 38 years later, he died in infancy of cholera. But I digress. Enough about our former president, who now walks the streets as a bizarre half-shadow, half-man named Tankra, whose only fear is the light and only joy the dark. But again, I digress. For as we all know, to speak Tankra's name is to summon her awful presence. The plays Shakespeare and Sir Francis Bacon were working on have until today gone unseen by human eye, unheard by human ear. But now we give you those very plays.